Hello, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a PPT tutorial for you. I will teach you how to make your own text-to-speech audio files that you can use to vocalize your PPT slides. Just imagine, what if you are sick like me but still need to make a video for your class? What if you are not a native speaker with a thick accent but want to sound more natural in your videos or PPTs? What if you are a man but want to sound like a woman? What if you are a woman but want to sound like a man? What if you want to narrate a story for a listening exercise? What if you want to create a dialogue in different voices? Applications of text-to-speech audio and videos are truly endless. Make your story unique. Tell it your way. Here's the PPT slide we will be working with. So what I want to do here is I want to vocalize these two speech bubbles. So uh, when I click on, uh, qu on the question, uh, it will say, what are you doing? And when I click, uh, when I click on the answer, it's going to say, I'm riding a horse. There are two options here. One is simple and one is slightly advanced. I'm going to show you both. Here's option number one. First, click on insert, then audio, insert an audio clip, and we're going to choose record audio. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to start with a question, so I'm going to give it Q uh, for question. And now let's record our question. Click. What are you doing? Stop. OK. Now we have an audio icon here. Next thing we want to do, we click on playback and look here, hide during show. When you choose this option, it's going to hide the audio clip, clip icon during the slideshow. And you want that so your slides look nice. So let's do this. And next thing, we need to go to animations and trigger our speech bubble. So uh, animations, trigger, on click off. And look here, we have too many options here. Because look, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six objects on the slide. Which one to trigger? I'm going to give you a nice little trick, uh, which is going to help you. So go to home and choose select selection pane. And now if you click on this speech bubble, you will see which one it is. So let's rename it. Um, let's rename it and let's call it um, question. Here we go. Question. All right, here's another speech bubble. Let's click on it. Here we go. Double click. Um, let's erase it and rename it as an answer. Here we go. Now we are ready. So again, uh, let's click on the audio icon, animations, trigger, and on click off, you see, we can choose a question. Boom, ready. And we can do the same for I am riding a horse. But of course, we need to record it first. But uh, let me show you how it sounds. Let's go to the slideshow mode. And look, when I click on the speech bubble, it's going to say what I've just recorded. Boom. What are you doing? So this is option number one, but it's not ideal if you ask me. First of all, you need to have uh, a decent external microphone. Then you need to um, 
fix, like remove the noise and fix your audio in Audacity or a similar program. So it takes time and you need to know what you're doing. Also, if you sound like me, you don't want to um, have a recording uh, on your PowerPoint. Or what if you have a thick accent? What if you want to sound like more like an English speaker? You know, there are many scenarios here and this is where I present you or I'd like to show you option number two. Here's option number two. It is slightly more advanced, but I believe it delivers better results. Go to clipchamp.com. To get started, let's click on the button Try for Free. When you click on it, it's going to take you to the page where um, uh, you'll need to create an account. Uh, if you have a Microsoft account, you can use it, or you can use a Google account, or you can use your own email address. There are three options to choose from. Then uh, we are on the Clipchamp start page, and Clipchamp is a simple video editing software, which gives you a number of options, but we are going to focus on the text to speech option. So to do that, first we need to click on this button, create a new video. Boom. Uh, here, do you see this button, record and create? Let's click on it. Boom. It's going to give us three, uh, sorry, four options. We can record a screen and camera or camera or screen or text to speech. And this is what we want. So let's click on the text to speech option. Boom. Now we are on the text to speech interface and it's going to give you a lot of interesting options. Let's explore them. First of all, we can choose a language. There are 70 accents to choose from. Well, it's all English, but you can choose an accent. So if you want to sound um, English with a Finnish accent, click on this option. If you want to sound like a French person, click on this option. There are 70 options to choose from. That's amazing. You can get really creative with it. Well, I'm going to stick with American English. Now we can choose our voice. You can choose um, a child's voice, for example, or an uh, older person voice. It's really up to you. Male, female, neutral, whatever you want. You can choose a voice style. You know, you can uh, opt to choose angry or sad or excited, whichever you want. You can choose a voice pitch. Also, it's an interesting choice. And you can choose a speech speed. So um, we need to type our text here. Well, in my case, it's what are you doing? So I'm going to choose American English. I'm going to choose Jane because, well, I like her voice. I'm going to stick with a general voice style and I'm going to leave her voice pitch as default. And I'm going to reduce speech speed to slow because I'm using it for my PPT lesson and I'm making it for children. So I want her to sound uh, slowly. And let's listen to it. Let's see how she sounds. What are you doing? I think it sounds great. So the next thing we want to do is to save to media. Let's click on this button. Boom. Uh, now our uh, file is prepared. So we are going to drop it to the timeline. So next thing we want to do is to export this video file uh, to our computer. And also, you know, you can, um, uh, just to say, just to make a quick note, you can drop a video here from 
uh, the stock video option or music, whatever you want. Just remember, it's a video file and we are exporting it as a video file. So we click on export, then we choose 1080p. Let's click on it and boom, it's done. Now we are going to save it uh, I'm going, uh, to our computer. Let me remain. Uh, let me rename it. I'm going to remain, uh, rename it Audio One. And also, look, I'm drawing your attention to the fact that it's a video file. It's an MP4 file, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'll show you how to turn it into an MP3 file. So let's save it. Save. Boom. Done. So um, this is our file. This is where we saved it, audio mp4. That means that this file contains video and audio. So now we need to detach our audio. We need to save it as an audio file. Now we need to convert our mp4 file to mp3 file so we are going to use a simple mp4 to mp3 converter we go to cloudconvert.com this is the website we need to use it's very simple first we need to select a file click select a file and this is the file we want audio one open and then we need to convert it to um any audio format we want mp3 or wave in my case uh let's uh, save it as an mp3 file boom and let's click convert and it is done all we need to do now is to download it so let's click download and save it here and as you can see now it's an audio file uh, and an mp3 file let's click save and we are done we have an audio file for our ppt lesson now you need to repeat the procedure for uh, the male voice and if you did everything right you're gonna have two files one with a female voice and one with a male voice now we need to insert them into our slide so we go to insert audio and audio on my pc let's click on this and then we go to um, the location we stored our files and here we go audio one insert we can uh, put it here and then we repeat the procedure we go to uh, playback hide during show then we go to animations trigger on click of the question and remember a few minutes ago i told you how to uh, rename the objects on your slide so let's uh, click on the question and we repeat the same thing for our answer so insert audio audio on my pc audio 2 we can put it here a playback hide during show animations trigger on click of the answer and now we're good let's see um let's listen to the final result Ta-da! let's click on the question what are you doing? I am riding a horse. Ta-da! This is how you do it. And this way, your audio sounds clean. It sounds neat. No background noise. Everything sounds great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you like what you see here, Please like and subscribe. Every like you leave and bell icon you smash helps my channel grow. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.